Hello guys, it's me, Thales. This is my channel about the English language. I cover from basic to advanced and I have many videos available for you. Uh, more than 500 videos I have recorded so far. So subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and share the content with your friends and give the thumbs up if you enjoy the content from my videos. How my channel works? We have four different playlists so far, two of them English grammar and the other two vocabulary, right? Um, basic vocab and basic vocab, um, basic grammar, right? Every video that begins, every playlist that starts with the word basic have explanations, has explanations in Portuguese. Whereas intermediate advanced videos have explanations only in English, right? So it doesn't matter whether you're a beginner or an experienced student. You, I have content here for everyone to help. Um, I help people study English and I help myself, right? It's good for me because I review content, I speak in English, right? I don't have many people to speak to, <laughs> especially nowadays because I've been working from home and there is, yeah, I could, I, I could uh, engage in conversations online, but it's not really my thing. So to me, it's a better way to practice my spoken English uh, recording videos, okay? Let's get into today's topic. Today, we will talk about this expression, in a jam. Jam can mean, mean many things, right? This is a jam, <laughs> jam jar, right? Do you like jam? And this is a traffic jam, right? Traffic jams is slowing people down. <laughs> So you see, jam can have many different meanings, but when you say that you are in a jam, it means that you are in a difficult situation. You are facing a difficult situation. So I brought to you a, a set of examples to explain in context what in a jam may mean. A synonym to the expression in a jam is to be in a fix to be in trouble. When you are in trouble, you are in a fix and you are in a jam as well. Let's see the first example. I've missed the last meeting. I'm really in a jam now. So I was supposed to be in a meeting and for some reason I forgot about, about the meeting or I didn't see the invitation. I forgot, I completely forgot, it was necessary uh, for me to be there and I wasn't there, nobody called me and now I'm really in a jam, I'm in a difficult situation, okay? Here we have a set, uh, it's a conversation, right, between two people. I'm in a jam, can you help me out please? Okay, so you're in a jam, you are in trouble. Can you help me out, please? You can ask questions using the word can, right? When you want to ask uh, permission, when you want to ask a favor. So you say, can you help me out? May you help me out, please? To help someone out. And then the person answers. Sure, what's up? What's the problem? What's the deal? I've got to go out of town. Okay, so I've got to travel, I forgot to be out of town unexpectedly, so I wasn't expecting to be out of town. You see, the word is expect, expected is this word, and then you add the suffixes ly and un, unexpectedly. So, when you have to be out of somewhere unex unexpectedly, it means that you were not expecting 
it and it was all of a sudden, right? I've got to go out of town unexpectedly and I have no one to look after my dog. So I have a dog and I have no one to take care of my dog, right? Look after means to take care, take care, take care of my dog. So you see, this person is in a jam, right? I'm in a jam because I have no one to take care of my dog and I have to leave town unexpectedly and I can't leave my dog at home alone. Next example. Do you really want your uncle putting himself in a jam to fund your business? Okay. Do you really want your uncle? Uncle is a relative of yours, right? It's your mother's brother or your father's brother or sister putting himself in a jam. So you're, you are putting your uncle into trouble to fund your business. So your uncle is supposed to be to give you some money or to lend you some money so that you can start the business, right? You can throw a business. But this person who is asking this question to you believes that you are putting him into trouble, right? Everything that involves money <laughs> may mean problem or trouble right to be in a fix or to be in trouble never lend money to your relatives right it's a, a rule of thumb right <laughs> it's a rule of thumb i never never ever lend money to your relatives <laughs> the next example is small employers will now be in a jam so small employers from small companies will be in trouble. Why is that? They must either provide affordable coverage or risk losing talents. So here, employers, they are in a trade-off. If they either, um, either they, uh, they provide affordable coverage of benefits, right, health care, and stuff like that, or they lose talents to other companies. You see, the company is in a fix, is in trouble, because in order to retain the talents from the, for the company, they need to spend more money to provide affordable coverage. Okay? And last but not least, I couldn't trust or rely on them when I was in a jam. So I was in trouble and I'm saying that I couldn't trust, right? I couldn't have support from them. I couldn't trust or rely on them, right? Rely is the same thing as the verb to trust. Rely on someone. When you rely on someone, it means that you trust this person, right? You can have support from this person. You can talk about many issues and this person will help you. On the flip side, on the other side, right? It's an expression. On the other hand, you have in one hand, on the other hand. On the flip side, it's when you flip, right? On the flip side, I've always, uh, I've had friends that are always helpful. So I'm saying here, we have two different and contradictory ideas. First, I couldn't rely or trust on them, right? On them, because they are unreliable, they are not trustworthy. But on the other hand, when I have trouble, when I'm in a fix, when I'm in a jam, I've always had friends to help me. So I've had friends that are always helpful, you see? in a jam. You see, um, we have studied many expressions today. We have seen rule of thumb. <laughs> we have seen in a jam, on the flip side, trust, rely on, affordable, 
in a jam, okay, we have already talked about it. So review these sentences so that you understand the meaning. I explained the sentences to you. You must study these words and the examples I give you from time to time so that you can memorize it and it gets better, right? As I told you, I have many videos available in my channel. Advanced Idioms Vocab, I have already recorded 23 videos. So we have 23 expressions, idioms, or phrasal verbs for you to study. Basic Vocab, 30 videos. Basic Grammar, right? Basic Grammar and Basic Vocab with explanations in Portuguese and Intermediate Advanced Grammar. So, summing up, uh, we have more than 500 videos available in my channel. I hope I see you soon. See you next time.